Hey guys! So this is going to be my Megan Trainer all about that base inspired makeup tutorial. So I found this song quite recently, um, I know it's been out for a while but it's just recently been like rising up the charts and I think it's so much fun, it's got a good message and it's just a fun song and the makeup in it is great, they're all wearing kind of candy kind of bright colours and um, Megan Trainer's makeup in it is kind of um, a bit more neutral but with a blue pop of colour and then I decided to add, I couldn't really see in the makeup if she was wearing any colour on her eyelids um, but I decided to add some just inspired by all the girls in the makeup in the makeup in the music video just because I thought it was really fun so I really hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial and I'll get on with it. Okay so I'm starting off using my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation and I've just put this on my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I'm starting in the centre of my face and working outwards. Megan's look in the video is quite kind of medium to high coverage so I've used one and a half pumps of foundation and I'm just buffing this into my skin. Megan also looks quite tanned in the video so this colour is kind of a little bit too tanned for me but then I'm going to be going in with some bronzer afterwards. Next I'm using the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer and this is the one with two different colours, one for under your eyes and one for any redness. I'm using the under eye colour underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles because they weren't too bad that day. So you can use something heavier if your under eye dark circles are, you know, pretty bad. Now I'm using the face colour, I'm putting it on the big old spots I have on my chin this week, the pretty horrid, and I'm also putting it around my nose where I often get quite red. Now I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder to mattify my skin because Megan's uh, look in this video is actually quite matte skin, um, it's kind of more matte than normal skin look so I'm just putting this all over my face. Now I'm using my Sleek Contour Kit and I'm just going to be using the Contour Brown colour from it and Megan looks very kind of like she's wearing a lot of brown contour kind of products on her face so I'm putting the brown colour in a three shape around my face to like hollow out my cheekbones and like kind of darken the sides of my face. I'm now using my Sleek Blush in the colour Life's a Peach. Um, I couldn't tell where Meg where if Megan was wearing a separate blush and bronzer or whether it was all the same kind of quite orangey toned colour so I'm using a peachy orangey toned blush on the apples of my cheeks to go for that kind of orangey look on her cheeks. Now I'm using my Rimmel eyebrow pencil in the colour Hazel. Megan's eyebrows were kind of um, mediumly filled in, they weren't really heavy, they weren't really light, they were quite flat and quite long so I'm filling in the top and then um, using my finger to blend it out slightly and then I'm also lengthening my eyebrows and defining the arch slightly. First thing on my eyes is my MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study and I'm using this as a primer and because the colours I'm using in the centre of my lid are quite light. So I'm just putting this all over because I'm going to be using a loose shadow and this is going to really keep that in place. Now I'm using my Urban Decay Loose Shadow in the colour Yeo, which is a bright kind of sparkly white colour. It's very, very white and quite sparkly. So I've put that all over my eyelid and then I'm just going to rub it in with my finger to make sure it's really kind of stuck on and isn't going to fall down my face. Um, Megan's eyelids look quite light and quite bright, which is why I've gone for this. It was kind of the perfect colour. And then with other colours around them. So as you can see, it has fallen down my face slightly. I'm also putting it in the inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm using my Sleek Ultra Mattes um, palette. And the first colour I'm using is the colour Pout, which is a kind of bright pink colour. And I'm just going to put that through my crease using my Essential Crease Brush from Real Techniques. Um, so yep, I'm just putting that through my crease. And I'm kind of concentrating on the crease and then slightly higher up than that, but not onto the brow bone because it looks kind of weird if you put pink all the way up to the brow bone. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm blending that outwards slightly because I don't want a kind of neon pink look, I want more of a pastel pink look. So I'm blending it out so it becomes a much lighter, softer pink. Now I'm using my professional makeup liner in white and I'm just putting this in my wash line to really open up my eyes and make them pop. I think I could see this in Megan's look in the video but her eyes just seemed really wide open. 
Now I'm going back to my sleek ultra matte palette. I'm using the colors Chili and Bolt, which are two blue colors, and I'm putting this under my eyes. Um, this is the kind of color you could see in Megan's um, look. She just had a bright pop of blue underneath her eyes. So I'm just running this all the way along my eyes, concentrating on the inner corner. And now I'm using my Rimmel Scandalize eyeliner in the color black, and I'm just putting this on the outer third under my eyes. So I'm just kind of popping it on so you can still kind of see the blue and leaving the inner corner. And then, yep, just still putting it on. And then I'm just taking my finger and I'm smudging it out slightly just to create a bit of a softer look. Now I'm using my collection of fast stroke eyeliner, which is a liquid liner, and I am going to line my top lashes. So Megan's look was kind of quite a defined flick. So the first thing I'm doing is putting the colour all the way along my top lashes. And I do this on one eye and then I do this on the other eye. And the reason I switch between the eyes without doing the whole flick is to make sure it's really even if you're doing quite a defined flick. Because if you do kind of half and then the other bit and then the other bit on either eye, it makes it more it makes it's gonna make sure the flick is more even. So now I'm creating the flick and it's quite far outwards and I just follow the line from my bottom lid and now I'm thickening up the flick slightly Now I'm using my L'Oreal Volume Mini Lashes Noir Excess Mascara. Megan was obviously wearing false lashes in the video, but I don't have any for today. Um, so I'm just using this mascara because it creates a really dramatic look. So I just use a couple of coats of this on my top lashes. Um, I prefer this a lot to wearing false lashes anyway, but obviously if you want to go for a more dramatic look, then pop on some false lashes. And I'm also just popping it on my bottom lashes. The first product I'm using on my lips is my Topshop lipstick in the colour Pillow Talk, which is a light kind of baby pink colour. And I'm just popping this on my lips. Um, Megan's lips look kind of in some of the shots with the blue eyeliner. Really nice kind of girly pink colour. On top of that, I'm using my Tiny Bear Lip Gloss in Picnic in the Park to create a much glossier look and to kind of warm up the pink agate bit because the Pillow Talk one can look a bit too light on its own and this adds a bit more pink and it makes it look more glossy. Okay guys so that is the end of my makeup tutorial. I really hope you liked it and that you can use it somehow for some sort of party or occasion or some sort of like outdoor maybe festival thing. I'm, I'm not sure but I just think it's a really fun makeup look and if you want to experiment with makeup this is a really good way to do it. Send me pictures on Instagram or Twitter if you do try this out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to see more from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!